Well, welcome to today's Living Life with Purpose broadcast. I'm your host, Phil Foster. In Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1, it says this, that a good name is rather to be chosen than riches. Yesterday, between church services, I had the honor of uh, conducting the uh, Athens uh, County Hospice Service, and this was my text, and I talked about some different things, and just real quick, I want to hopefully give you some good advice for what you might do when you lose someone you love. The first thing I want to encourage you to do is keep their memory alive. You know, years ago we used to carry around in our wallets all these pictures, and today we have them on our technological devices, it's our smartphones or whatever. And sometimes when we look at a picture, we're reminded of all those great memories that we shared in one another's life with that person that we've lost. So I just want to encourage you. I know sometimes in a funeral setting when uh, everybody's there hugging and, and saying prayers for one another, that's very helpful. But uh, days, weeks, months afterwards, when everybody's gone back home, uh, we sometimes feel all alone. So hang on to the memories. Also, don't be afraid for, uh, to allow God to use you to be a source of comfort for someone else that's hurting. You know, one thing that happens when we go through things, when we get on the other side, it puts us in a position uh, to help others. The last thing I'd like to share with you is you might just say once in a while, what did I learn from this person that I missed so badly, that I cared so much about, and I love so much? What, did they, what lessons in life did they teach me? And if you're not already practicing those things, and if they were good things, you might begin to incorporate them into your own life. Look, I'm out of time for today, so until we get together tomorrow, may God bless you, and have a great day.